Today in this video we will look at the procedure to operate, operate the quick closing valve for the fuel oil system for generator and we will also look at the maintenance that needs to be carried out on a regular basis on the system. So this is the control box for operating the quick closing valve. Sometimes it is hydraulic and sometimes it's pneumatic. So this particular system is pneumatic type. So let's open the door and we will see individual valves for each generator one in a normal position and then one in an emergency situation so right now all of them are in normal we will soon operate uh, for the emergency and see how this system works actually so let's operate uh, one of the valves for one of the generators so as soon as you turn on the valve the pressure line is connected to the quick closing valve of the particular generator so after that you can reset this one now we will see if the valve actually closed or not so this is the second part of the video let's see if it's operating or not yes this valve is operate pretty nice as you can see now the fuel for that particular system is off so in case of fire there is a leakage of fuel and you want to disconnect so for that machine this can be done from a remote area this this shutting off action can also be you know, cross verify from the pressure gauge itself on the machine as soon as this valve completely shuts off the fuel pressure will drop after some time so then it is working satisfactorily so now we have to reset this valve to put back into an original position so we have to do that so to reset the valve first you have to close it all the way down and then open it again so when you are opening it is actually going up against the spring pressure and the valve is held at a place with this lever which we are trying to put down so in this particular valve we had a problem that when we were closing the spindle was not going down or the locking lever which actually operates the valve during the remote closing so uh, these kind of problem usually occurs that valve is not closing closing or the spindle getting stuck so we have we already did a troubleshooting on this one so while you can see that it's not going down while closing the valve even though there is no air pressure inside so after this video we actually try to move this latch little bit up and down and it came up easily so the thing is when you're closing down you have to push this lever a little bit so that it comes off the group inside so in this next part of the video you will see how easily it goes down so these kind of maintenances you have to keep on doing on regular basis as per the pms or as per the company requirement so this particular valve had a problem so we had to clean it properly first and then we tested it again that can be seen in the next part of the video so let's try to do it again and see how it goes so let's again try to reset this valve so we have to close down fully as you can see the operating lever is also going down slowly and then it completely rests at the bottom like this this is the correct position now the valve is closed now you will see when we are operate opening this valve it will be resting against the steam sorry spring uh, force as you can see the spring is getting compressed if you see clearly so now the valve is in complete open position and it is ready to use again for future purposes thanks for watching this video